Hello Summoners and welcome back to another Teamfight Tactics video. My name is Dan and today I'll be teaching you everything you need to know to play Demon Sorcerer with Evelyn as your carry. I'll cover all the details including how to play out the different stages of the game, what units you should be looking for, and what units you can tech or pivot into. This composition has been dominating TFT for the past several days, so if you haven't seen it then you must be living under a rock. But don't worry, by the end of this video you'll be a master of the carry Evelyn composition. We encourage all our viewers to comment down below telling us whether or not you like this type of content and what kind of TFT videos you'd like to see in the future. And before we get started, I want you guys to click the link below to check out ProGuides.com. This guide will definitely give an advantage going into your next few ranked games, but if you really want to take your play to the next level, then I recommend you click the link below to go to ProGuides.com. With all that being said, let's jump right into the guide. As per usual, let's start off with a brief overview on why this comp is just so darn good right now. Evelyn started off as one of the weakest units in TFT, and has seen numerous buffs here and there for the past several patches. She finally reached a solid point as a unit, so Riot let her be. Unbeknownst to most players, Evelyn has actually been a sleeper OP unit for the past several weeks, while most people were tunneling on Draven, Jinx, and Nobles last patch. But now that she's reached the forefront of the meta, we might as well talk about her. Comps built around her are insanely strong because they perfectly utilize her ability to execute her opponents over and over and over again. She also has a core set of items that make her practically invisible, but we'll get into that in a minute. Without delaying things any longer, here is your ideal 6 unit composition. Braum, Leona, Sejuani, Poppy, Brand, and Evelyn. These 6 units give you a crazy number of synergies for only 6 units, and they all work together to make Eve as strong as possible. Sedge plus Braum gives you Glacial, Sedge and Poppy give Knights, Braum Leona offers double Guardian buff to Eve and a Frontliner, and Brand gives Eve the ability to Mana Burn. Now this isn't to say you need these exact 6 units or that you'll even run into them all by level 6, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. Realistically, you'll probably have a Morgana instead of Varus and a Garen instead of a Sejuani, which is totally fine. As you move into the late game, there are 3 ways to round out this team comp. Number 1, you can opt for a 4 knight, 2 guardian, 2 demon composition if Evelyn and Brand are all the damage you need to get by. You'll typically want to opt for this composition when you don't need to add a damage and honestly just need more meat shield to stall for Evelyn to clean up. Option number 2 is to lean into that 4 demon composition. Here you'll typically be running 4 demons, 2 guardians, and 2 knights. This is the direct opposite of the other comp and is designed to give you some added damage while retaining a bit of tankiness. It also dramatically increases how often Eve can ult since she'll be burning significantly more mana. And last but not least, option 3 is to forego the knight bonus and opt for even more damage with sorcerer. Here you'll be running 4 demons, 3 sorcerers, 2 guardians, and 2 dragons. You'll be picking up dragons with Aurelian Soul and Pantheon and can squeeze in Morgana to get both sorcerer and demon. This is the ideal late game composition, but it's pretty hard to hit so don't tunnel too hard on it. Obviously, there are plenty of other end compositions, but these are the three you'll typically be aiming for. Feel free to mix and match them based on the state of your game. However, your main focus should be on securing Eve 2, getting her items, and setting up your 6 unit comp. Speaking of her items, let's get into those. The perfect items to run on Evelyn are Dragon's Claw, Guardian Angel, and Hextech Gunblade. Dragon's Claw makes her practically immune to magic damage, which will allow her to have much more uptime in fights. Similarly, GA is thrown in for added bit of armor, but mainly for the revive. And last but not least, Gunblade gives Eve an insane amount of healing. Because Gunblade heals a percentage of all damage dealt, which includes her execute, Eve will practically heal back to full HP every time she executes an enemy. This combined with the defensive stats of her other items makes her practically invincible. Because Eve's damage is so heavily focused on the execute, you honestly don't need mana damage items. It's much better to focus on her survivability and maximizing her ability usage. If you can't hit these exact items, don't worry. Eve is strong with practically anything and honestly only needs GA for the added safety. Obviously prioritize the items mentioned above, but feel free to improvise if you need to. Beyond this, every other item is just an added luxury and can honestly be anything that makes sense in your comp. If you have a level 2 brand, then give him a Shoji or a Morelos for the added DPS. If you have Morgana, Aatrox, or a tanky frontliner like Sedge, then throw GA on them to ensure they cast their ability. It honestly doesn't really matter and is entirely situational. Your focus should be entirely on making Eve as strong as she can be. But how do you go about playing the comp throughout the game? Don't worry, we've got you covered there too. In the early game, you're honestly just going to field the strongest comp possible while picking up any key units you happen to see. 
These units would typically be Eve, a strong demon like Morgana or Aatrox, Guardians, and Knight. The most ideal comp for you to run in the early game is something that's generally strong that can also pivot into your mid-game comp. Something with Knights is definitely a good place to start, since Knights can easily be integrated later on. As for leveling and your economy, everything is rather standard, so just play according to the state of the game. As you reach the Krug round and hit level 6, you'll ideally want to roll down and look for Eve 2. Evelyn is a 3 cost unit, which makes this the optimal time to find her. If you have horrible luck and don't find a single one, then this is probably the time for you to entirely abandon this comp. However, you'll typically hit one or two here, or at the very least, will be able to stabilize your transitionary comp. There are a variety of temporary comps you can run at this point, so let's get into a few of them. The most obvious one involves actually hitting Eve and forming the six unit comp we discussed earlier. This is the perfect situation, but requires you to high roll for either a Leona or Pantheon to complete Guardian. If you don't hit Guardian but still have Eve, then you can either opt for four knights plus Evelyn and one other demon, assuming you'll have enough damage, or you can go two knights, Braum two if you've been benching him, Ash, Varus, Eve. This is only a temporary tech, but it'll give you Glacial, Rangers, and some added backline damage. Lastly, you can also push for four demons, two knights if you happen to hit both Morgana and Aatrox early on. Keep in mind that they are all mid-game transitionary comps. They aren't permanent and depend entirely on how your specific game is going. From here until about Raptors, the game is pretty straightforward. Your goal is to continue econing while searching the units and items to complete your late game power fantasy. Gradually, pick up the demons, sorcerers, knights, or guardians that you need and incorporate them into the comp when they'll level it up. Don't give up on the urge to make a sudden dramatic change to the comp unless you're really tanking. Build your units up on your bench and make transitions when you either make them level 2 or they'll give you a massive increase in power with a trait bonus. As for items, focus heavily on creating the Exodia combination on Evelyn. Pay attention to the items you have, what you can build them into, and plan accordingly around the creep and carousel rounds. By the time you reach Raptors, you should have a strong level 2 Evelyn and a stable composition with demons, knights, and guardians around her. From here, it's all about optimizing your comp with stronger units and making changes based on what the enemy team is running. Here is the most optimal comp you could possibly have at 7. Braum or Leona, Sejuani, Pantheon, Aurelian Soul, Kale, Brand, and Evelyn. I know this is a super high roll comp, but it's always good to know what the top is. That way you can work back down to reality. Realistically, you'll have the 6 unit comp we mentioned earlier with Braum, Leona, Sej, Poppy, Brand, Eve, and you'll simply toss in whatever strong unit you happen to come across. Moving into level 8 and onward, it's all about rounding out your synergies with the best possible units. We already touched on some of these comps earlier, but we'll go into a bit more detail here. Let's start with the 4 knight comp. Here, you'll ideally want to run Garen, Sejuani, Poppy, Kale, Braum, Leona, Brand, Eve. This one is rather straightforward. You'll keep the Garen you had in the early game, then toss in a Kale that you'll easily find at level 8. Boom, you're done. Everything else is the same, which makes this one super straightforward. You'll want to run this if you high roll Kale or just need some added tankiness. Next up, we have the 4 Demon variant, which runs Aatrox, Morgana, Brand, Evelyn, Sejuani, Poppy, Braum, and Leona. This variant is all about increasing the mana burn for your demons, which will in turn ramp up their damage. You'll typically opt for this if you've been picking up Aatroxes or Morganas in the mid game and already have a pair or a level 2 waiting on your bench to toss in. If you have the 4 demons already ready to go at level 7, then it might actually be better to run the 4 demon plus guardian and 1 knight, since the 2 knights doesn't offer that much in the late game, while 4 demons makes Eve a lot stronger. Lastly, we have the sorcerer variation, which requires the most high rolling. For this comp, you'll want Aatrox, Evelyn, Morgana, Aurelian Soul, Brand, Leona, Karthus, and Pantheon. Keep in mind that Pantheon and Karthus are not required. You can easily swap them out with Braum and Lulu and would be just fine. This comp is all about doing a large burst of damage. You won't have the tanky frontline to fall back on, so most of your team will get wiped after they ult. The focus here is on having all of your units go off, then have Eve clean up all the low health targets. This is definitely the highest damage version of the comp, but it's also the hardest one to hit. So we've gone over how to play the comp at all stages of the game, but what about positioning? Positioning for this comp is super straightforward. The only thing you need to do is make sure your guardians are next to each other and that both Eve and your main frontliner are both getting the double guardian buff. Besides that, nothing else really matters. Feel free to place your other units wherever you want. They can be around the guardians for the buff or they can be spread out to dodge AoE. Just make sure to position around Blitz and Hextech and you'll be fine. Last but not least, we have a few added tips to think about when running a carry Evelyn comp. 
This is pretty standard for any comp running an assassin, but pay attention to where Eve is going to jump. You always want her to take out a priority target early on if possible, so position her accordingly. If there are a lot of players still alive, then work with percentages. If 4 out of 7 players have their carry on the right side of their back line, then position for those players. You'll be better off on average. Similarly, position your demons to hit targets that are ideal to mana burn. If there's an enemy Sejuani, it's probably a good idea to place your Aatrox and Morgana in front of her. Your units will focus her down and will hopefully mana burn her, removing an insanely powerful ability. Lastly, most players would think to replace Braum for Pantheon if they hit him, but it's debatably better to swap Leona instead. While Leona does have a more impactful ability, Braum gives your team Glacial, which might be better in some situations. His shield might also be better depending on what you're playing into. However, with the recent Pantheon hotfix, we'll have to wait and see. The point is, you need to actively think about your replacements, instead of mindlessly following a build path. That'll just about wrap up our guide on how to play the carry Evelyn compositions. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, then please leave a like, comment, and sub to our channel to be notified for our next one. Make sure to check out ProGuys.com if you guys want to see massive improvements to your rank this season. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Good luck in your next few games, and we'll see you out on the Rift.